Landry ain't. Well, there's a lot of it. But I'd like it better if we're sort of populated. <laughs> <laughs> Easterner, eh? How'd you guess? Well, you've got the city look about you. Too many tall buildings. Not enough cactus. Too many sidewalks. Not enough prairie. Say, where are all these ranches I've been hearing about? Isn't enough out there for a jackrabbit to make a living on. You see them hills? Well, they're all burned off on this side where the sun hits them. But on the northern slope, they're all nice and green. There's one ranch after another. Did you ever hear of a ranch called Red Rock? Red Rock? Sure. That's over beyond Winston. A nice piece of property. Are you interested in cattle? Only when they're served medium rare with plenty of gravy. Oh. <laughs> Going through to the coast, I suppose. No, I'm getting off at Winston. Bye. Bye. Keep the change. Baggage delivered, brother? Uh, yes. Say, uh, where is the town? <laughs> so it is. Bus will be leaving in a little while. <laughs> Thanks, I'll walk. So you can have my bags left over John H. Beckett's office. You know where that is? Right in the Winston block on the main drag. You can't miss it. It's my property, isn't it? Ain't no manner of doubt about that, Mr. Selby, but... Then why can't I sell it? Is there anything wrong with it? Red Rock's worth today about half what it was six months ago. Should be about 10,000 head of stock on the plate. I understand there's less than five. You mean the stock's been sold? Don't know. Ain't been shipped out of here, Mr. Selby. Then what? Well, looks like a lot of cattle is just evaporated. But man, that's impossible. There must be some record as to where the stock's gone to. What about Hepburn's reports? Your uncle never required any record. Hepburn operated the ranch, turned in half the profits, and your uncle let it go at that. Why didn't you report this? You're one of the executors. Well, you can't prove anything outright. And Hepburn's quite a big bug around here. What's the matter? Afraid of him? Well, not exactly, but... A big bug or not? Listen, Beckett. I inherited that ranch from my uncle. It's mine. I own it. Now, everything's going to be different from on. I'm going out to have a showdown with that Hepburn. If I'm short a couple of million sirloin steaks, I'm going to find out where they went to. How do you get there? Well, it's pretty tough for a car, but I can fix you up with a horse if you're bound to go. Can you ride? A little. Uh, I feel like I'm going to nose over any minute walking on these high heels. Hmm, <laughs> nice horse. What's his name? He minds the name of Leo when he minds. Leo? That's a funny name for a horse. <laughs> yeah, he is a funny horse. <laughs> okay, I'm used to funny horses. <laughs> Here's some sandwiches Ma fixed for you. Oh, thanks. Don't forget to take the left fork at the gully. Okay. You just throw the reins over his head and you get off and he'll stand. Maybe. I'll see you tomorrow. How are you, Miss Ann? How are you, you're good to see you in town, Miss Hepburn. First of the month's about the only time you honor us. And I bet you just sit around and wait. <laughs> well, Miss Ann, you got to admit, you're a big improvement to the scenery. Oh, I do admit it. Where's the payroll? Ready in a minute. How's your dad getting along? Well, he still sticks to his wheelchair. Bones don't heal so readily at dad's age, you know. Oh, don't you worry about your dad. Why, you couldn't kill Sam Hepburn with dynamite. Here you are, Miss All in hard cash. So I hear. <laughs> All right, Hi, boys. Yes, my horse is thirsty, too. Here 
your arm, Miss Hepburn. I'll put them in the bags for you. No, thanks. I can do it myself. Oh, no trouble at all. So I'll do it myself. Goodbye. Huh? Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Cowboy. Huh? Pick up that package for me, will you, cowboy? Why, certainly. Nice horse. <laughs> and, Dad, you should have seen that dude's face. I'll bet your new pair of boots shows up here looking for a job within an hour. A pair of boots? You're on. He tried to speak to me twice in town. Without a bit of encouragement, I'm sure. Oh, I don't have to encourage him. You ought to know that. Martha, when's dinner? I'm starved. Everything's ready, Miss Anne, on the table. What about this fellow, Anne? Suppose he does show up. Give him a job, Dad. He's got swell eyes. When are you going to cut out this foolishness, Anne? You know I'm crazy about you. What's the matter, Dale? Can't you stand a little competition? Anyway, there's no need to worry. He isn't here yet. But he will be. I want to see Mr. Sam Hepburn. What do you want? I want to see Mr. Hepburn. Is he here? Who is it, Dale? Tell him to come in. Mr. Hepburn, could I uh, see you? Uh... Sure. Don't mind, do you, Dale? Now, Mr. Hepburn, I don't know just how to begin. I know. Begin. I... You lost me a pair of boots. My what? Oh, this is serious. These things always seem serious at first. You'll get over it. But, Mr. Hepburn, you... I know the whole story, my boy. You're not the first one. You followed my daughter out here, and, of course, you want a job. I what? Oh, Dad! I... Sorry. Thank you. Oh, and uh, don't forget the job. Now, young man, what about that job? From around here? What? Huh? Oh, oh, no, sir, no, sir. Uh, further east. All right. Hunt up Hawk Siebert, my foreman. Tell him I said to put you on. See you later. But I...
What's the matter, Dale? What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. It's this dude cowboy. There's something mighty funny about him. What do you mean, funny? Afraid he might get you a girl? Oh, he's just another Romeo. Oh, no, he isn't. And he's not a cowboy. And I'd like to know what he's doing out here. You mean he might... I mean he might be anything. I can't understand why Hepburn put him on. Hi there, Romeo. Where's your banjo, dude? Too busy lasts a week. I'll see you and raise you. Here are, Nebraska. A brand new Romeo. Oh, just a lonesome cowboy, caught in the toils of love. Howdy, stranger. Nebraska Kemp's the name. I'll sing you a song or play you a tune. Will you have it? Pretty good, too. He'd be a hillbilly if he could find a hill. What's your name besides uh, Romeo? Uh, uh, Ernest uh, Howard. No. Where's your clothes? Oh, uh, oh, I left him in town. We'll send in for him tomorrow if you last that long. Enter our domicile. You know, Dale, he may not like it out here. I was just thinking the same thing. What's all this Romeo business? See them marks? Yeah, why? Every one of them is for some cowboy Romeo that followed Miss Ann out here to the ranch. The crosses are when we checked them out. Hmm. Well, you can cross me out right now. I didn't follow anybody out here. I'm not interested. Do you understand? Certainly. And I don't like pretty girls' whiskey or money myself. Oh, the Romeos came by foot and by horse. It seems most uncanny. They came with but one thought in mind. To steal our little Annie. Give me that chalk. Hi, Nebraska. Got the new Romeo scored up? All scored up and waiting to be checked out. <laughs> well, you better keep your chalk handy. I don't think this one will be with us long. So long, Romeo, and don't make a bigger fool out of yourself than you have to. Wait a minute. Easy, boy. Use your head. Remember, he's the boss's pet, an assistant manager of the ranch. I don't care who he is, he can't bluff me. Oh, yes, he can. He's the biggest bluff in Arizona. <laughs> you got me. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing a little curio hunting. What? What? Is... It's all a... He's a snake, huh? Yeah. Nice little rattlesnake. In here? And they don't fly either. And rattlers don't climb walls. You mean someone deliberately put that snake on my bed? Well, it seems like somebody's mighty anxious to get you off this ranch. Say, that snake might have got me, too. That's right. You know, there's some mighty funny things going on around this ranch. Yeah, but what's that got to do with putting rattlesnakes in my bed? Well, I ain't sure. But it seems like somebody might think you're out here to make trouble. Trouble? Well, what do you think? You ain't no cowboy. <laughs> well, uh, I'm trying hard to be. Say, uh, how do you stand on this, uh, this funny business you've been talking about? Me? I just mind my own business. If Hepburn wants to run half the owner's cattle off of this ranch, I just ain't looking. Oh. That's it.
It won't be long till both your legs will be healed, Mr. Hepburn. Well, I hope so. You're getting along all right. How about the dance, dude? You going? What dance? The dance in town next Monday. Ain't you heard? No. That's funny. I heard you were taking Miss Ann. Huh? Well, I'm not going to any dance. Either with Ann Hepburn or without her. Especially with her. Well, I'm sure glad to hear you say that, dude. That girl certainly does know how to twist him around her finger. Uh, she may be the queen of the prairie, but you've got to remember, she hasn't got any competition. She's a good look, all right, but New York and Chicago are full of good-looking gals, and I've been to New York and Chicago. Anyway, I wouldn't take Ann Hepburn to dance if she came in here right now and asked me herself. Oh, uh, hello. He was, uh, uh, we were just talking about you. I heard you. So you wouldn't take me to the dance? Not even if I walked right in and asked you? Nope. But I've told everybody in town you're going to take me. Well, you just run around and tell them I changed my mind. I know why you won't take me. High Slip's warned you off. You're afraid. That's right. I'm afraid of High Slip. I'm scared to death. You can't see it from where you're standing, but I'm just shivering all over. I dropped my compact. Hmm. So you did. I was going to pick it up. What do you think? You're nearest to it. So I am. Who does she think she is? You'll find out. She ain't even started to work on you yet. Look here, Howard. I understand you're thinking of going to the dance Monday night. Not me. Nebraska and I have planned to rehearse the little yodeling. Oh, you're smarter than I figured you were. How smart is that? Sometimes romance is unhealthy for punk cowboys. Keep your plans the way they are and practice yodeling, get me? Oh, suppose I want to change my mind. I might want to go to the dance. Don't do it. I'm taking Miss Ann to that dance. Understand? You're welcome. I wouldn't take her if she had a new dress and feathers in her hair. Now, does that make you feel better? Oh, you're pretty smart, aren't you? I've taken prizes. I took a prize once for attending to my own business. Remind me someday and I'll show it to you. Well, say, uh, can you ride a horse? Uh, of course I can. What's the matter with you? Can you ride bucking horse? Why, sure. Can you ride bareback? Why, of course. Don't you ever catch cold? <laughs> to do some riding. You want to ride one of them broncs? Huh? Mm -mm, not me. I said riding. I'm no high diver. All right, son. We're going to see what we can do about it. Okay. Hey, Doc. Come here. 
You know Romeo. Well, he thinks he can ride. Hold back dynamite and fix him up. When I give you the high sign, bring him out. So you think you can ride? That's what I came out here for. Well, I'm not so sure about that. You want to ride? There's a horse. You talk like a pretty brave guy. Let me see you do something. That's not a horse. That's a volcano. Say, I wouldn't ride one of those broncs without a parachute. Oh, I see. The old streak of yellow right down the back. Just as I figured. Hmm. Fortune teller, huh? What are you trying to do, Dale? Kill a dude? Well, he said he wanted to ride. So you tossed him in there with those killers. He wouldn't last five seconds, and you know it. You fool, where are you going? Hey, dude, wait a minute. Don't ever get on a bronc without shaft. That's, yeah, you have to get your pants kicked off. Oh. <laughs> okay, Nebraska, thanks. I'm on good luck. Let him loose, boy. Ready? Very pretty. You did this deliberately. Oh, but Anna... You I... did. You didn't ride that horse. I heard you. Well, I'll be a... You are already. Martha, where are you? I'll get the other thing here. Ah! Whoa! Wait a minute. What day is this? I guess I'm all together. How's the horse? Well, I'm glad. Why? Oh, uh... I just didn't want anything to keep you from taking me to the dance Monday night. I'm not going to the dance. Didn't you hear? Listen, cowboy. I want you to take me to that dance. And I'm in the habit of having my way. Well, that's a bad habit. I couldn't go to the dance now anyway. You see, uh... I'm a cripple. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Young man, all right, Miss Anne. He's the meanest, most conceited, self-centered, bigoted young upstart I've ever seen in my life. But tell God him I like him. You know, I've been kind of curious about this canyon ever since the last roundup. Say, what you mean by a box canyon is that there's only one way out. That's right. 
that fence mean anything to you? What fence? Well, slap my britches. They sure have made a box out of it. So that's where the cattle went to. Somebody run them in there and then shipped them out when nobody was looking. Yep. That's the way I've got it figured. You know, I was just thinking. Not a dirty work to let them get away with this. It's nothing but plain cattle rustling to me. But you can't prove nothing with a fence. What do you mean, we can't? But we don't know who built it. We can be at this canyon at the next roundup, can't we? Now you're talking. That was a close one. What do you suppose it means? It means we guessed right. Let's be getting out of here. Go back to the ranch. I'm going to the dance tonight. And I always dance better without bullet holes. Okay, honey. <laughs> Get your horse and keep down. Who's that? Riding a horse. Huh? Hepburn riding a horse. You're crazy. Give me them things. Well, slap my britches if it ain't. And he's got a rifle. I'm going to have a showdown with that bird tonight. You're going to have a showdown? What do you mean? Well, I was just thinking of the owner's interest. But he can't really prove anything yet, can we? That's right. We'd better wait till the roundup. Yeah. Then the real owner will probably show up any time now. Oh, I don't know what it's all about. I must be getting thick. But it seems to me the owner of the ranch had better get here darn quick. Uh. You know, it's a shame a man like Hepburn should go crooked like that. Yeah. And he's got such a nice daughter, too. Yeah. Get up. There you are, Miss Ann. Everything's ready. 200 barbecued beef sandwiches. 200 sandwiches. 50 jars of... Say, who's going to take care of all this grub at the dam? Now, you don't want to go to the dance, do you, Martha? Don't you think I ever get lonesome, Miss Ann? <laughs> all right, honey. You get yourself all ready and come along with the rest of the bunch. Oh, fine. Shooting gophers. There, I'll let you take me to the dance on one condition. Swell. What's the catch? I want you to order Howard to drive the grub in. And to tell him to look after the horses. Oh, I'd just hate to do that. He wouldn't be able to go to the dance. <laughs> I'll be ready in a little while. Hey, where's Romeo? Well, he and Nebraska's out riding fence. They'll be in directly. Got a good job for you, Romeo. Harness up that bay team and hitch them to that station wagon over there and haul the grub to town. You'll take care of the horses tonight, too. I'm sorry you'll miss the dance. Oh, that's all right. You'll be there so the ladies won't miss me. Where are you going? I want to see Mr. Hepburn. Well, you can't see him. He's taking a nap and left word he wasn't to be disturbed. I hope he's feeling all right. Oh, sure. He often takes a nap. What do you want to see him about? That's my business.
Here's your vanity. I'm afraid you're going to get that nice young man into trouble, Mr. Hamm. I can hardly wait. He's coming. Going to dance, son? Well, he's not going to dance. He's the head coachman. <laughs> hey, dude. I'll dance with Miss Ann for you. Thanks very much. That'll be a big favor. Someday you'll sing on the other side of your mouth. I can do it now. Oh, I sing from the east and I sing from the west and I sing from the north and south. But this is the first time in my life I've sang all over my mouth. Whoopee! <laughs> hey, Dunk. The dude was snooping around Box Canyon today with Nebraska. How do you know? I saw him. Now look, you and a couple of boys give him a good going over tonight. He'll be out there alone with the horses. Find out what he knows and don't be too careful. It'll be a pleasure. you like to make yourself ten bucks? For ten dollars, I'd eat a rattlesnake raw. Just deliver this grub and keep your eye on the Red Rock stock tonight. There's your ten bucks. Ten bottles of snake oil. <laughs> I'll be drunk for ten days. Yeah, come on, boy. And another thing. They've been running the cattle into this box canyon and shipping them out secretly. And today, old man Hepburn took a shot at me. I told you that bunch was a pretty tough outfit. Why not take the sheriff back out there with you? No, we're not ready for that. Yet. You know, it's a shame a man like Hepburn should go haywire like that. Are you thinking about Hepburn or his daughter? I'm not interested in his daughter. You keep saying that and you'll start believing it yourself. It's the truth. Sure, I believe you. Say, uh, where are my bags? Over the house? Yeah. Suppose we go on over there. I think I'd like to freshen up a little bit. 
You wouldn't be going to the dance, would you? Oh, shut up. Sure, what is it? I just high slip, and you'll be here any minute. Plenty mad. I want you to rush me. Don't let him break in. Oh, you better sure. right. You better hop that dude before you come in, Dunn. And uh, don't be too rough on him, boys. No, we won't. <laughs> Cut in. Now you listen. You go out there and break in, and then I'll come out. Get me? And why did you wait for me? Is this my dance? Nice weather we're having. Sometimes it's cold, and uh, then sometimes it's not so cold. What's the matter, Dale? Lost your girl? You never miss when you name that fellow Romeo. Lovely room, isn't it? Not bad for small towns. Let me go on. He's a huge Romeo on the dance. Let me go. He's doing all that by himself. Out to the toes. Come out. Come here, you. Pleasure of walking with you, Mr. Highslip. <laughs> there you are, Rollo. Now don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Say, that dude ain't out there, them horses. Nobody there but a drunk. You ain't seen the dude, have you? <laughs> Did I say something wrong? <laughs> That's about as cool a piece of work as I've ever seen. Who is this tenderfoot? He's the meanest, stubbornest, most conceited, self-centered, high-hat dude tenderfoot I've ever seen. But how he can kiss. No. Oh.
road, dude. It's kind of tiresome sitting around here all day. Yes, I sure worry about you. <laughs> no kidding, though. If this roundup lasts another week, you'll be a cowboy right. And I'm beginning to like it. <laughs> well, that about cleans them up, I guess. How many head would you say? Well, it's pretty hard to figure, son. They're scattered clear up the valley there. A couple thousand, maybe. I don't know. Where's Hyslip? I haven't seen him since early morning when he started out with us. Suppose we go on over and have a look at that canyon. All right. Hey, you don't suppose there could be any other reason for shutting that herd up in there, do you? Not that I can see. Hey, look. When do you plan on taking this new bunch, Mr. Crane? We'll take them out tonight. That suits me. That last bunch was okay. Here's the money. You'll find it all there. You sure this is all right with Mr. Hyslop? Certainly. All right. That guy paid off to Hepburn for all those cattle. What do you think of that? Well, that settles it as far as I'm concerned. Hi, Mr. Crane. Oh, yeah. The new stock's in the Box Canyon. How about the money for that last bunch? Why, well, I gave it to Mr. Hepburn. That was okay, wasn't it? Oh, sure, sure. So long. I want to talk to you, dude. Sit down. Dude, have you seen my father? Well, I... I mean, have you seen him away from his wheelchair? Riding. Father's been acting strange ever since his accident. Lately, he's been going to his room and locking himself in for hours. Yesterday, he was away all afternoon. I think... Dude, I feel as if something terrible is about to happen. And I'm sure you know what it is. Won't you tell me? What are you doing here on this ranch? Really? Did you come here to watch my father? It's true. I knew it. Uh, say, uh, Hawk, I'm riding in the ranch in the morning. Oh, you are? Yeah. Mighty nice of you to come and tell me about it. Who's running this outfit? Well, you are, Hawk. I'm going in just the same. 
What's the idea? We're all going in as soon as we finish up here. I'm leaving it sun up. Hey, you, you're fired. Ah, don't lose your shirt. That guy acts like he was the boss. <laughs> yeah, don't he? Oh, Romeo acts like he was the boss. He gave us all fair warning. We don't know whether he is or not. But you'll find out in the morning. <laughs> Who is it? Come in. I do. See, you're much better, Mr. Hepburn. I'm getting along very well. Uh, what is it you want? What I have to say is very difficult. I was at Box Canyon yesterday when you were there. Oh, you were? What do you mean? Now, Mr. Hepburn, I want you to get me right on this. If you're willing what to... What is this? A shakedown? No, it's not a shakedown. Now, just a minute. Do you know who I am? I'm sick and tired of all this. I was at Buck Canyon yesterday. Yes, what if I was? What business is it of yours? God, I go riding around my own ranch. Who are you to interfere? Just a punk cowboy following my daughter around and telling me how to run my business. Now get out of here. years out here and a Duke cowboy trying to tell me to... Why, Dad, you're walking. Certainly I'm walking. What of it? Been walking for a long time. Dad, what did the Duke mean? What about Box Canyon? What about Box Canyon? I get rid of one whippersnapper and now you. Ah! Can't I go to Box Canyon? Can't I ride around my own ranch? But these rumors, there is something wrong. Wrong? I'll say there's something wrong. Go to your room. Leave me alone. Well, how'd you make out? I didn't make out. All I can do now is turn the thing over to the sheriff. Turn it over to the sheriff? Well, this ain't any of your business. I'm going to make it my business. All right. You want to go to the buckboards hitched up at the back of the house? Look. There goes Hepburn. I'm going to slip over the house and have a look at the books before he can cover up. What are you taking that for? Oh, just in case. Hepburn needed a gun at the canyon, didn't he? I'm sorry, forgive me. Wait a minute, I want to talk to you. Dude, I need your help. I'll do anything for you, you know that. Take me into town, will you? Why? Don't ask questions, please. Just take me. I want to get away from this ranch. I hate it. Dan. Dude. 
take me away. That I will. Get your things together. Come on, the buckboard's out back. I've got the goods on you, Heiser. Give me that money. Come on. I collected this money for the cattle your gang drove into Box Canyon. But I couldn't actually prove anything. Oh, Mr. Hepburn, I was only... No use, Heiser. I've been pushing a wheelchair around a long time to get the goods on you. Going to do. I'm going to call the sheriff. You and your gang are through in this district. Hello? Boss? What's the matter? I don't know. Somebody shot the old man. I saw Hepburn put $10,000 in that safe not an hour ago. Where's the dude? I saw him go away in the butt for him, Miss Ann. Yeah, I bet he's got the money. You seem to know a lot about this, Heisler. Where were you? I suppose I ask you the same question. You seem to be pretty thick with this. Now, look here, boys. What about this dude? Where is he from? Who is he? What's he doing around here? He ain't a cowboy. Hey, Doc. Pull the red rock right away, will you? He's on his way. Cut out the gap. This is a job for the sheriff. Sheriff, nothing. Don't move him. Don't move him. Boys, that crook's getting away. By the time the sheriff gets here, he'll be across the line. Come on, fellas, we'll stop him. He'll stop him with a slug of lead. Why was he so anxious? This whole thing is plumb local. Huh? Romeo didn't shoot him. How do you know? I don't know. But the kid isn't the shooting kind. This is his gun, and it ain't been shot. I'm going to head the kid off before Heisler kills him full of lead. All right, use my horse. I can't run out on my dad. No matter what happens, no matter what he's done, he's still my father. Well, I, I wouldn't worry too much, Anne. I think 
Everything will come out all right. How can everything come out all right? Because I own the ranch. My real name is Selby. Selby? Why, you... spying on my father. Oh. And making love to me. But you don't understand that. Get out. Get out! Oh, but wait. Get out! I found you. Where's Ann? She went back to the ranch. What's the matter? Plenty. Get undercover. What's the idea? Somebody shot old man Hepburn in a high slip trying to pin it on you. Oh, but that's absurd. Oh, never mind that. I know you didn't do it. But high slip's got to have a goat, and you're it. But his gang is right behind me, and they'll shoot you down on sight. Now, you get undercover while I go get the sheriff. But wait now. Come here. Never mind waiting. The gang is right behind me, I tell you. Get undercover. fellow's afoot. He won't stay along the road. You boys fan out. Cover half a mile. Don't ask questions. Shoot. He didn't give old Hepburn a chance. Uh, hey, Doc. Wait. When she gets back home, something's going to pop. Why? I've got the dough. I'm making my getaway tonight. You stick with the boys and make it look good. I'll meet you at Algato. All right, boss. Get on your feet there. Come on, quick about it. Now give me that money. Wrap this one over your head. How am I, Doc? Well, they couldn't kill you with dynamite, Sam. How are you, Sheriff? Any news? Not yet. Who shot you, Sam? High slip. I caught him stealing cattle. Then he came in here and robbed the safe. Got the drop on me and... Uh... Can you use this man, Sheriff? I sure can. So you're the tough guy, eh?
Here's our money, Mr. Hepburn. I have something for you, too, Ann. I dropped my compact. So you did. Why don't you better pick it up? What do you think? 